Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Do you like thrift flips? You're going to love this video and this playlist. I'll tell you more about that in just a bit. Project number one, this one's going to be super quick. I found this beautiful vase at Goodwill. I painted it with celery and then dry brushed it with the plaster. I added some flowers from Michael's and that's it. I love this. I still have it up in my house. It's beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. So this video is part of the Thrift Flip Road Trip. It is hosted by Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs and Kay and Trish from Crafting Cousins. And this month's guest host is Annie from Indie Annie Jones. I love these ladies. They're some of my favorite crafters on YouTube. I will have all of their channel links as well as the playlist in my description box down below. When you're done with my video, head on over to the playlist and check everybody out because there are tons of amazing creators. Okay, let's get back to the video. Project number two. So I have this mailbox that I got at Goodwill and I have these beautiful rub-on transfers from Amazon. And these, oh, this is my favorite rub-on transfer ever. And then these pictures, this picture, I should say, was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So once I got the packaging off of this picture, I took my finger sander and just went over all of the words and uh, just got rid of them. And then I used the Waverly White Chalk Paint and I did two coats, I believe. Now I am just trying to decide how I'm going to attach this mailbox to the picture. So it has like two different um, covers. So I wanted to make sure that the one with the slit in it was down and stayed down. And then I just used some E6000 and some hot glue and added it to the board. And there, I put some paint on it to make sure it cured flat. So now that it's all dry, I'm just going to take a bunch of different paints. I started out with, I believe, just the white Waverly chalk paint. And I did a very heavy dry brush. And, oh, see, I... So, <laughs> I guess the slit I kept open, so I glued it open instead of closed. So I apologize. Now I'm taking some of that terracotta paint from Folk Art. This is the Earthy Rose. I love the terracotta paints. If you've been with me for any length of time, you know this already. And now I am taking, I believe it's Truffle. I believe and I am just going over so I'm just taking a bunch of different colors that I am pulling out of the transfer that I'm going to add to the mailbox so I took this um, welcome to the farm part of that Dixie Bell um transfer and i am adding that to the top part of this sign this piece comes out so gorgeous now i did it a while ago so i apologize if i got the colors wrong on the paint and whatnot because 
my editing software, I can't see the whole picture. So there's my disclaimer there. <laughs> so now I am just trying to figure out which part of this transfer I am going to add to the front of the mailbox. Now, once I decide, I just lay it down on the mailbox and uh, just start rubbing it. So once it transfers, now I don't typically do this and maybe it's because of this particular project, but you're supposed to take the carrier, the clear carrier piece and rub it. See what I'm doing there? Well, when I did that, I ruined the bottom of the transfer and I was so upset. I do end up being able to kind of fix it, but oh my word, I just remember being so incredibly upset that I ruined this transfer. So, um, yeah, so I think I, what I do is I end up scraping a portion of the transfer up and then I... Um, just add a little more paint so that it all blends in again and then I add another piece of transfer to it and I'm sorry for the background noise but my dog is playing with one of her toys I think she's trying to get me to put some treats in it <laughs> so anyway now yeah I'm just sanding everything off and then I will start over at this part you can see right here oh my heart it was sinking but I made it work so I took a smaller piece and um, just added it to the bottom and if I didn't show you my mess up you're not even going to be able to tell So now I decided that the sign itself was a little too new looking, too bright. So I took what was left of paint on my paintbrush and just like brushed it on to the sign just to kind of dirty it up a little bit, make it look a little, you know, kind of match the mailbox. <laughs> and now from that on the farm, transfer the one that was in the tube uh, there were some cotton pods in there so I am just adding these pods around the picture or the around the mailbox I should say and now I'm going to take some florals and add them to the mailbox. Now these are gorgeous sunflowers. I actually got them in one of those grab boxes from Michael's like, I don't know, two, three years ago. And so I am just going to kind of fluff it up and add it right to the mailbox. And I try to bend the flowers so that they're pointing out instead of up. And now I, so I'm, I'm showing you the tags for the flowers. 
um, and the cotton pods. Those I got from Dollar Tree. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut off a few pieces of the cotton pods and I'm going to add them to the sides at the bottom of the mailbox. And once I finish that, that's it for this one. How gorgeous is this sign? I am so in love with this sign. Love it, love it, love it. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, project number three. I have this sign from the Dollar Tree and then I got this big frame and it's got like a chalkboard piece in the back but I'm not going to be using that. So I got that from Goodwill and so what I'm doing is I'm going to take that chalkboard piece right out of the frame. And then I take the frame and I give it another coat of the Waverly White and um, Agave. I'm actually, I think I do the Agave first and then I dry brush with the white. And then I'm going to use that beautiful ribbon I got from, I believe it was Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to take a few strips and I'm going to hot glue it to the back part of the frame and then I'm going to bring it right across to the other side kind of at an angle and I'm going to glue it to the opposite side and I'm going to repeat this process I believe I do it three or four times because I want there to be a wider space uh, like a wider banner if you will across this picture frame So once that's done, I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to take all of these gorgeous solo wood flowers. Look at them. <gasps> oh, I love them. So all I'm going to do is I am just going to start gluing the flowers to the ribbon and I'm just kind of, I'm going to fill up that whole ribbon as much as I can with these flowers.
And then once I am done with all the flowers, I just found some uh, like little pieces of leaves that I had kind of in my stash. And I'm just going to start adding them to the florals, like just kind of in between pieces of or in between the flowers. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's the next step. Now that small Dollar Tree sign, I painted it in all the same colors and I just printed out on my Cricut the word welcome. I glued it to the top right corner, added some more florals and greenery, and here it is. I am so in love with this piece. I think it is so gorgeous. I love that agave color. Let me know in the comments, do you like the agave color? I think it's gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, project number four. I got this sign from Goodwill. I took the hardware off and I am just um, sanding down where the hardware was. And then I am just flipping it over. I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in plaster and I am going to paint the entire sign. Then I take two full pieces of the floral foam from Dollar Tree and I glue that to the center. Now I'm taking this greenery. I believe I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's just one of those vines um, that they sell and I am just wrapping it around gluing it in spots but I'm trying to cover as much of the floral foam as I can. Then I'm going to take this ivy vine I got from Timu um, it's really good quality and there's like, I don't know, I want to say like 25 vines in this one package. There may even be more, I'm not sure. But um, anyway, so I just took a couple of those just to kind of fill in where the other vine didn't cover. <laughs> Then I'm taking these like sprigs or branches, whatever you want to call them, um, of eucalyptus, which I also got from Timu. And I am just starting with the tallest pieces of floral that I have and greenery. Obviously, that's greenery, but you know what I mean. And I am just trying to, again... I want to fill it in as much as I can and cover as much of that floral foam as I possibly can. And I also have this boxwood that um, they're just, again, little pieces that, you know, I've saved throughout my crafting journey because, you know, we don't throw anything away because um, <laughs> we can use it later on a project like this. So I am taking all of the little spare pieces and parts and adding those to this uh, centerpiece as well. Once I'm done with all of the greenery, I'm going to take these flowers that I got from Michaels. They look like thistles. I'm a, that's what I'm going to call them, thistles. I don't know what the uh, the tag said. I don't that they were. I have no idea. So thistle it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm going to add those um, all around. And then I am just going to take these purple tulips that I got from Michael's as well. And I'm going to add those around the centerpiece as well. From there, I am going to take these beautiful picks from Dollar Tree. I can't believe these are from Dollar Tree and they're so gorgeous. Um, and I am going to add those. And I think at some point, yeah, so I'm adding some more greenery. Again, just what I say? I'm trying to cover up the uh, floral foam. Now, these pieces, they came from Michael's. And I don't know. I thought they were supposed to be ferns. But they kind of look like, um, like a Hawaiian kind of thing. I don't know. Anyway, I, um, I added those. Some more greenery. Probably some more florals, but just trying to build up this centerpiece. And again, I'm trying to um, make it as full and beautiful as I possibly can. Here it is. I love this. I think it came out so, so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, project number five. Now, this is a quick one as well. I got this house at uh, Goodwill. It was 75% off. I'm using my plaster chalk paint. I did try to sand down, as you can see, but it just kind of smeared everything. So I changed my mind on that. And then I have these beautiful um, black and white rub-on transfers that I got off of Amazon. So I painted the house and then I put that transfer on. I lost the footage. I'm so sorry. And it's so gorgeous. So I'm using this rub and buff. I used the, um, ebony and I believe the silver and I have these butterflies that I made with some of the resin, the slow set resin from Illumilite. It is in my storefront um, if you're interested in checking it out. The link for the Amazon storefront is in my description box always. So, um, and I guess I used gold, not silver. So I apologize for that as well. But I just took the uh, resin butterflies and I'm just hot gluing them to the house. And that's it for this one. I think it's so gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Let me know what you guys think of this one. So I'd like to thank Sammy, Trish, Kay, and Annie for putting this awesome playlist together. I had so much fun creating this video for you. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. It lets them know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you in the next one.